So hello everyone, it's your boy here, Miles Miller, and I'm here to answer yesterday's question. So on my story, I posted a question that was saying or asking between a barbell and a dumbbell. If you're asked to choose between the two, which one will you go for? So majority of you said barbell, and some of you said dumbbells. Okay. So today we're gonna break down between the two. Like we'll see the advantages of one over the other yeah and um, let's jump into it so the first one being dumbbell so when it comes to performance hmm, you want to perform on your lifts or better on your lift so barbell will do a good job than dumbbells why because if you want to lift heavy hmm, let's say for instance you're doing a deadlift of course when you do a deadlift on a barbell with a barbell, sorry, you might lift or chances of you lifting heavy is higher than on a dumbbell, right? But when it comes to things like um, focus, you want to that mind muscle connection, yeah. I think a dumbbell will do a better job than a barbell, why? Because you're trying to look which part of your symmetry is stronger than the other right for instance you're doing shoulder press that is dumbbell overhead press of course you'll want to see which arm is stronger than the other you're doing a chest press maybe inclined chest press with the dumbbell that's another thing you want to see which body part i mean sorry which side of your body is stronger than the other right so when it comes to focus dumbbell will make you focus more on your exercise than the barbell right so you'll find most people who use barbell are athletes sportsmen athletes like say crossfitters weightlifters powerlifters strongmen why do they emphasize more on the barbell why because they want to focus on the movement first or work on the movement before working on the muscles for bodybuilding in most cases People tend to work on the muscle before perfecting the movement, right? So you'll find out, even when it comes to injuries, those people who use barbell in bodybuilding, you talk about bodybuilding, they tend to have so many injuries related to barbell. Why? They want to lift heavy deadlifts with poor form right they love to lift heavy squats with the poor form they want to do heavy bench press with the poor form but when you switch to this other side of sportsmen like now the crossfitters weightlifters uh, powerlifters observe they hardly get injuries because they perfected on the form before doing what thinking of building that muscle so i'm not saying you cannot get an injury from doing weightlifting but chances are if you put on a scale a bodybuilder might be prone to an injury than a power lifter that one we can't even debate so for performance barbell is good over dumbbell right but if you are now to focus on aesthetics hmm? if you want to focus on aesthetics that is the looks, the sculpting, the Greek god. No? I think dumbbell will do a good job than barbell. Why? Because, you see, using a dumbbell will give you a lot of freedom. Freedom of twisting and turning your fist. Let's use an example of, let's say, bent over row. I'm doing bent over row with a barbell. You see this? So I'm pulling the weight towards my chest from the floor. The bar will just go to this level because I cannot go past that level because of my chest, right? But when you switch now to dumbbell, you have that freedom of going an extra range of motion, you know? Because even you can have that freedom of twisting and turning your wrist, yeah? I can decide to roll like this, but bar is strict. Let's assume this is a barbell. I cannot bend the bar, but for the dumbbell, I can twist it, right? Because it's independent. So, yeah, for sculpting, dumbbell, not barbell, you know. 
Another thing I want to talk about is when it comes to upper body, so those are the chest, the shoulders, the arms, the triceps, and um, some bit of posterior, that is the upper back, you'll find out, again, dumbbell will carry the day. Dumbbell will carry the day. Why? Because of the freedom that I've just spoken about, you know? You know, when I'm doing dumbbell exercises, in most cases I'm doing unilateral exercises, right? So I have that freedom of finding a comfortable plane that will match with the muscle that I want to target on, you know? So if I want to target on my lat, it's better I do with this neutral grip when I'm doing maybe single arm row as opposed to when I'm doing straight bar row. You understand? So, um, for like coordination, things like that, for um, muscle imbalance, you see if you're having an issue with your muscle imbalance, like one muscle is bigger than the other, um, you will not notice when you're doing maybe an exercise with a barbell. Yeah, because you see, the arms are assisting each other. But for the dumbbell, you'll notice like when I'm doing like say overhead press, I'll notice maybe my left arm is weaker than the right arm. But with the barbell, it's hard for you to notice. Maybe it will be a slight difference. You'll find that people to some people who when they're doing bench press, one arm is stronger than the other, so the bar is kind of slanted on one side. Yeah. So again you see the way dumbbell is advantageous to use over dumbbell over barbell because of those minor minor things i'm trying to point out another thing that you should know is um when it comes to lower body we're talking about the legs eh? or the hamstrings the cause and the hamstrings dumbbell again won't carry the day but the barbell now carry the day why because it's a it's um performance exercise let's say for instance you're doing a deadlift you know a deadlift you tend to do better on a barbell than on a dumbbell even squats right so for lower body ha this one barbell carries the day dumbbell goodbye but i'm not saying dumbbell is bad because we have things like lunges hmm? it's a unilateral exercise and lunges is an exercise for leg according to me i find out i i think i'll do better using a dumbbell than a barbell because now when i put that bar behind my neck ha, chances of me wobbling when i'm doing lunges are higher than when i'm using a dumbbell you get so that's why i told you eh? Um, when it comes to focus, dumbbell is better than the other one, than the barbell. So, lastly, you'll find out that those people who want to use barbell or who voted for the barbell, in most cases, I always feel like <laughs> barbell is just to boost your ego in the gym. You know, you want to feed on that bar plate after plate after plate, you know so because it's a performance exercise like the bar it's a tool for performance so <laughs> if you want to boost your ego of course you want to use a bar a barbell to do what to fit an instance of plate so another thing you should know is um it's um what else? What else should I talk about? Mm, mobility. So, if you have, we have like a poor mobility. Maybe it's a shoulder mobility or um, hip mobility. You can play around with the dumbbell because again, so for instance, you cannot do a proper squat, right? I'll tell you maybe to do goblet squats. You know, you see, if, you, if you do goblet squats, it will force you to be on an upright posture as opposed to a front barbell squat because of mobility. So, 
if you're immobile in most cases the dumbbell will help you to to march along that path that you're comfortable with you know there are those people who have shoulder issues the joint shoulder joint issue so when they are doing bench press especially flat press they'll say oh it's putting more pressure on my joint that is the this shoulder joint so when you switch to dumbbell you have that freedom of trying to find a perfect plane that will uh, help you to perform better on that movement you know so i feel like if i was to ask now to choose between the two of course you know my answer yeah i'll just put my ego aside and i'll go with dumbbells if today i was told now from today choose one hmm, between this barbell and this dumbbell which one will you pick i think i'll go with dumbbell yeah because of tons and tons of reasons which i've just mentioned so i'm not saying barbell is bad you have seen they are good like there are some reasons that are overshadowing dumbbell so like the ones i've just pointed out so yeah that's it dumbbell guy <laughs>